Hi, my name's Ruth, welcome to this week's video and if you're new to my channel, it's really lovely to have you here. And today I wanna to talk all about meditation and how we can use a particular type of visualization around meditation to help us in the current climate because I don't know about you, but I'm finding it really stressful at the moment and um, quite anxiety inducing the um, the feeling of uncertainty and everything kind of speeding back up after the lockdown, which was such a slow kind of pace of life. So it's a readjustment to kind of be back out into the world and for the pace of things to fasten and getting used to a new sort of way of life. So as part of that, meditation can really help us. And I think that one of the things that I've really found important during this time is to find a sense of a way to ground and a way to go deep, go deeper um, and have that strong foundation underneath all of the chaos and the madness and the changing environment that we're currently in. So I don't know about you, but here in the UK, there's lots of changes all the time and it's quite disconcerting getting used to this new way of life, which is having to wear masks a lot more and um, something that I'm finding really unpleasant and I'm not enjoying at all. So it's, it's sort of all of that stuff can, if we're not careful, we can get really absorbed in it and it can be quite destructive. So what I found really helpful is I practice transcendental meditation and I've practiced that for, let me just work it out, about seven years. And I find it really, really helpful at the moment because one of the things that we learn as part of transcendental meditation and it's sort of an analogy, a visualization, is the idea that the, the surface of the water, which is, imagine the surface of the water is our life, it's our general life. So we are out, we're going to work, we're driving the car, we're making the dinner, we're looking after family, we're dealing with bills and financial stuff and all of that is like this choppy surface of the water and if we are constantly in that choppiness and that feeling then it can be very debilitating and really unsteadying and unnerving whereas what we learn in TM is that actually it's a bit like when we see an iceberg say in the water so we see the tip above the water and when we're on the surface of the water, we're seeing the surface only and the sky and whatever else is going on. But there is a whole vast reserve of kind of a different world that lies underneath that surface. And all that we need to do is to drop into that and I really like that phrase. There's something about the idea of dropping in, um, which I find really special. John Kabat-Zinn, the mindfulness teacher, uses that a lot in his teachings, just dropping in. Think of meditation, whatever kind of meditation you do. I, Like I say, I do TM. Um, it's an opportunity to drop in to that quiet space. And I don't know about you, anyone that's a, um, a swimmer or that can swim or that likes going underwater snorkeling scuba diving just going under there or putting your ears under the water even there's so much calm to be found there and I think that's one of the things that is really really special about meditating at this current time is we need to remind ourselves of that under water, quiet, vast, um, silent space that we have and we all have to access somewhere. It might feel like if we're, if we're getting tossed around by huge waves and storms on the surface, it might feel like there is no stillness underneath us, but there always is some stillness to be found. And that's what meditating 
on the daily can really, really help us with. So for me at the moment, being seven months pregnant, I'm facing a lot of anxieties and worries. And it could be for you, it could be financial, it could be health-wise, it could be related to a relationship. Um, but we all have stresses and strains on our life and at the moment they may feel particularly heightened. So being able to, to do that dropping in and find that reserve that, that lies underneath our surface is something that's a real gift. And I always remember watching this documentary about the tsunami in Thailand. It was a few, it was a good few years ago that I watched the documentary. And I will just succinctly tell you about this family who were affected um, by the tsunami. And the two parents were keen um, scuba divers and that's why they were there. And then there was this one day when the tsunami came and the kids, they had two teenagers, they didn't want to get out of bed. They were like, well, we'll stay in bed. And the parents went off to go on this scuba diving expedition. And because as the tsunami was happening, because they were un deep, deep, deep under the water and they were exploring and they were where this calm, imagine this analogy, it was calm where they were. Um, they managed to come away unscathed from, from what was happening on the surface and what was happening on land. Whereas their two teenagers were really badly affected. Um, they both survived, but there was lots of implications of um, injuries and health conditions that, that came from that. And it was just that description that he gave of what it was like to be under the water and knowing that there was something going on because the, the fish and the um, all the aquatic life was behaving differently. But to sort of feel like you were underneath that and and I think that's something to use as a, as an anchor point, pardon the pun, um, when we meditate. So if you don't have a um, formal practice, it may be that you just want to sit quietly. Um, you don't need to sit on a cushion cross-legged with your hands like this. You can do if you want to. Um, but just sit in a quiet space. No distractions, no music unless you want to start with music to make it easier. Um, but just stepping into a very peaceful space where you won't be disturbed. And really envisaging the idea of dropping in and going under the surface. You might want to imagine that you're a whale or that you're a dolphin or you know whatever comes to mind, whatever will help you to do that. And to, to access that dive down and, and also to know that when we meditate, it isn't, it would be nice if it was, I'm sure it is for a few people, but um, you know, the dive down is great, but there will be um, times when we come back up, thoughts will bring us back up. So we may have a certain amount of time where we feel quite blissful and chilled out. And then all of a sudden a worry will pop into our mind or we might be at a really high level of stress. And so we feel like we're just literally just dipping our nose underneath. We're not able to go that deep. But even that time spent under there, however long we can manage it, it can be really, really beneficial. So if you wanna play around with that at the moment, please do. And um, I've got a few other videos on making um, meditation a daily practice that can transform your life so I'm gonna link to that below I've also got another video about starting a meditation practice because I really feel like you know at the moment it's just anything that we can be doing to help ourselves find some calm and some peace is really vital not just for us but for the wider world so that we are kind and calm and um, more grounded when we're out in the craziness of the world. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try and keep posting regularly. I am in my third trimester now, so it 
maybe that the videos aren't as regular um, I'm going to try and give myself some self-compassion around maybe letting myself have a little bit more rest time so I will see you very soon for another video and in the meantime take care stay safe and I will see you next time thanks bye